Hello everyone. Today I want to showcase an advanced Obsidian data view techniques, which is creating the live calendar. So in this live calendar, you can see my um my total live expectancy and how uh, and the progress of my life right now. And then uh it I do it to remind me that there's an end of my life, and then I need to cherish my time and do some meaningful things. So in this video, I will talk about why do I create it, how do I create it. But before that. Uh, I really shout out to my newsletter, which is called the Strong Foundation. Uh, if you go to my website, yomalu.dev, you will see a new section. Follow my newsletter, and then I, uh, and then you can see uh, my newsletter link. Uh, you can put in your email to subscribe it, and then you can see some uh, new article from here as well. So why do I create this? Is because I think that the knowledge in Obsidian's are very scattered and they're not well organized. But uh, in Strong Foundation, the articles are written in a in a in a nice way so that you can understand it better. It is completely free, so just put in your email and subscribe it. I very encourage it. And yeah, so we will go back to this live calendar. Uh, why I create this is from the idea is from uh, this video. Uh, a tech talk from Team Urban. It talk about why people procrastinate. It is because people uh, you think that people forget that there's an end uh, of their life and then uh, they just infinitely postpone the things that which doesn't have a deadline and they think that it's okay because uh, there, there isn't a deadline anyway but the end of our life is the deadline and I really like this idea uh, so it talk about how do we solve it is to create a life calendar it's not that many boxes especially since we've already used a bunch of those. So I think we need to all take a long, hard look at that calendar. We need to think about what we're really procrastinating on, because everyone is procrastinating on something in life. We need to stay aware of the instant gratification monkey. That's a job for all of us. And because... Okay, that's enough of that. And then I also have a scripture here. It says, is in Ecclesiastes uh, 7, chapter 7, verses 4. A wise man thinks a lot about death, while a fool thinks only about having a good time. So this is my conviction from the Bible as well. And yeah, I hope you understand why it is important to create this life calendar. Uh, although it is not uh, for everyone, but I encourage, uh, if you want to do it, I encourage you to do it as well. So now I talk about how I create this is to use DataViewJS. Here it doesn't have any syntax highlighting, so I will copy and paste this link, uh, which is a TypeScript Playground because I use TypeScript Playground to create these scripts. I use TypeScript Playground is because uh, it has syntax highlighting, it is easier for testing, you can see error, you can see logs and things like that. And yeah, it is a tips for people who use Obsidian data field using TypeScript Playground really helps. If I click run, uh, I can see that okay, actually it prints all the link uh, out, and then for the day uh, for the week which already passed, it will be green circle. Uh, now it's week forty nine. Uh, you can see that now it's week forty nine, and until until uh, two thousand seventeen week. 34 and so you can see that uh why is week 44 uh why is 2079 it's because i set my life expectancy to be 80 if i set it to 85 then then it will be 2084 so uh this function is the key it takes in our birth date and then take in the life expectancy and then it basically loop uh, look through every day and then get the week number from the current date and then form a week string and then check if it if the week is passed it will print a green circle if it is not passed it will print a white square and it increments it day by day uh, and, and uh, so in the end you get this whole string and then a console log out these two are just helpful functions uh, so given the date it will get the week number given the date. Uh, you will tell whether it is passed or not. So after I finish this script, 
I, you can put it uh, into AI, transform it into a JS version, or that, or 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 I just use this one. Uh, there's a .js tab here, and then I get the JS version. I put it, I copy and paste in DataViewJS. I change the console.log to the data uh, DV dot paragraph, and then boom, you get this view. So I I also have a couple handy uh, CSS classes here. Uh, for example, this wild CSS. Uh, if I if without it, uh, the max width will be a lot smaller. So I have this wide CSS class, and then I have I also have this live calendar CSS class. If I don't have this, you can see that somehow the line break. But uh, if I have this live calendar, the line uh stick back together again. Although uh although technically. Although technically, uh, everything is uh, like it's just a string, so there is no new new line uh, character here. If I come to here, you can see that there's nothing special. But I I'm not sure why it just break. But I apply the CSS class and fix it. And yeah, I also create a gist. Basically, you can this gist is public. Uh, you you can refer to this gist, copy and paste into your uh, Obsidian valves and it will work perfectly. So uh, every dot here is a weak node. So uh, because I use the periodic nodes plugin, so uh, I don't need to create my weak nodes here. I just need to create here, and then it will automatically link to my weak node. If you want to change your uh, weak node format, because some people don't use uh, periodic nodes, you can simply change the weak string and refer to your patterns. Change it to your patterns. Now it's year and then dash dot week number. But it doesn't have to be. You can change it to your format. So it's pretty handy. Yeah, I think that's all. I hope you learned something in this video. I hope you like this video. Um, and I hope that uh, I really want to encourage people to uh, basically seize your moment, cherish the time. To do something meaningful because you can see that although we think that okay life expectancy 80 years is a long time but if i change it to weak weak boxes actually there aren't a lot of boxes because a week passed so fast and 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 we got to do something meaningful right it could be loving our uh, parents loving our friends um like Go to pursue our passions, things like that. So every 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 week note here, I I basically have a retrospective about okay, what what did I do uh, last week, and am I am I doing it right? And then what is my focus this week? What do I learn? Although I haven't formulated this week note uh very well because I I just. Uh, start to use week notes recently. I, I I mostly write my diary, but not week notes. Uh, but now I try to write my week note as well because uh, it helped me get the focus. It helped me get get the bigger perspective of my life. And yeah, I very encourage you to do the same thing as well. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.